Hey guys, Jermon65 here, and welcome back to another video. And today I'm playing another iPod game by the name of uh, Plague Incorporated. And um, if you want to download this, uh, well, let me tell you a little bit about it before you actually download it. But uh, basically, what you do is I'm in the middle of a game right now. Is uh you try to infect the world, all right? It's like a really hard strategy game to do if you're playing on like normal or brutal. Right now I'm playing on casual, which is the easiest difficulty level. Just show you guys like what it's about. But um, yeah, you basically infect the world, but with uh seven different um disease types. Uh, the first one you get is, um, bacteria. And then, what you do is you complete a game with bacteria. Oh, yeah, and then you get, like, global news stuff, too. But, uh, basically, uh, oh, my God, there's so many noises with this game. Let me turn this down a little bit. Um, there we go. Okay, but uh, what you can do is you can d name your disease. And uh, Helen Gallows actually was playing this game like a long time ago and started naming his disease as Dominic. If you all remember him. But, uh, I'm sure you do. So what you do is you get DNA points right down here. And right now I have 79. And you get those from those uh, red hazard sign bubbles and then you also get them from yellow um bubbles with dna strands on them those are dna points but and once you get those you can buy stuff with the with those like um transmissions so uh livestock too i'm just gonna get um water here and then you, once you select one of these genes or transmission types you just click this button evolve and it'll subtract say here uh, 18 DNA points so I just lost 18 I have 61 says 72 I believe that's what my last one was and then uh, you can come here the symptoms and then you can get say um immune super super spree I don't know. I, it's late. I can't read right now. Pulmonary fibrosis. There. That's an easy one to get. Um, and then it'll have. It'll explain like what the um symptom is. Like what it'll do. Click evolve minus eight. So I just got that. And um, if you can buy them, they'll be like this maroonish color. And when you buy them, they'll be like this uh kind of light reddish, like tomato kind of color. Once you buy them. And then, oh, and the disease type that I'm using right now is bioweapon, which is the last one. But, uh, you get, I stopped talking about the disease types. There's bacteria, virus, um, fungus, parasite, pyron, uh, nanovirus, and then bioweapon. And, uh, and then I have abilities, so let's just get cold resistance evolve it alright and get another one so I'm gonna get uh... genetic reshuffle oops I should have a going DNA thingy there alright so then you just exit out just press that X once you're done there and uh... what you can do is if you see down here it'll say like world dead infected and that'll be like the information here. You click on this and it'll go to like, this is the world information. And it'll show you how many healthy people are in this country, I believe. And then if you're, if you select a country, it'll have like, um, it won't have like all this. I think it'll have the graph, I'm not sure, but it'll have this. And then it'll have, um, like, how much money they've put in the cure research. And then it won't have this. It'll just have, like, news on what this did. And right here, Dominic is spreading fast. So, 
and then you can click here to cure I'm on the world right now so it'll have like all the cure stuff and it'll have like this um kind of bottle thing and then I'll we'll have key research countries I have UK, Saudi Arabia and the Middle East all working on that priority resor er, research priority medium right now and then I'll we'll have this and what this is for is you'll later in the game you'll see blue bubbles pop up and that is um scientists planes flying into each country uh testing people for so they can figure out a cure and what you do is you pop those blue bubbles and then you'll get like this black bar start coming in here and it'll start pushing this back and it'll make the cure it'll stop the cure if you have it all the way over here and then you'll have graphs here for the world so infection spread summary we'll have healthy countries but you know I'm on the world right now let's tap on a country say Russia here and then here they have this so yeah it does have a graph and then you have this little eye right here and then you'll get the information oh, come on. thank you a rural country typically has a cold, humid climate, so that will be the info in Russia. It's climate info and everything. And then, but that's pretty much everything for that. You have like this little thing up here, so more global news right there. And, all right. Go away. Uh, God. Shut up. I hate the noises for this game. It's so loud. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's the blue cure bubbles. There you are. Just tap those and it'll uh, have like this glass breaking sound. And that's when you know you've popped it. So, let's go here and get some more... Transmission symptoms, abilities. I like upgrading these right here. Drug resistance, uh, genetic hardening. Come on, evolve it. Thank you. Alright. So that, now let's, I want to show you the signs. If you see like these little planes and these things in the water, uh, they'll show you like boats and planes traveling from country to country. And, um,. Uh, and if they're red, that means they have an, they're carrying infected people, and if they're white, that means it's just like a normal boat carrying uninfected people. And then, if you have like a country red here, so let's just tap on East Africa. Ooh. Tap on East Africa here, and as you can see, it's fully red. Wait. Tap on, uh, okay. Yeah, and this one's green. If they're green, that means they may have been infected or they're not. And that means there's more healthy people than infected or dead. And once they start turning, once the countries start turning from a red, red uh, to a dark red, that means the country is wearing down, their government is falling, the country is almost destroyed. And I don't mean, like, blown up, destroyed. I mean, like, like, economic failure, say, kind of destroyed. Like, economic dis disruption, kind of, uh. And then, uh, I think, what else is there, though? say about this. Oh, yeah. Okay. I don't really think there's anything else about the information. I think you guys would probably get most of it. Oh, you have a cure wrap percentage here, and then you have DNA right there. I've already shown you that. But, um, you'll have information about the disease right here, how it starts, daily infections, daily deaths, uh, start date and start location, name, and this will just be like the disease growth, like their cells. This this is my disease's cells. 
And this is only medium size. Eventually, the, the things will just take up the whole microscope scope site thingy, whatever it's called. Uh, let's just buy more transmissions here. Actually, no, no, no. I want to buy that. And then that. Okay, now I have all the cell abilities up to date. Like, about drugs and stuff. Oh, there we go. Now it's changing. Once you start getting more symptoms and abilities, I think this changes. I, it will also change, like, with how the disease is spreading and stuff. But, um... Yeah, I think that's all I really have to explain about the game, so let me, let me just stop talking here and let's just go through some gameplay and see if I win. And I'm in 10 minutes here, so I'm just going to do probably a couple more minutes here. And then, okay. Let's check on this. Oh, there are barely any healthy people left. Most are infected. Alright, there's like 1% of healthy people left, and that is, uh, there are no healthy countries, I think it's just like, people that haven't been infected in some countries. But, uh, I'm just gonna stop talking here, oh, and one more thing, if you zoom in here and then you see like X's over these, uh, anchors or planes, that means airports or harbors have been shut down.